Romans 8, Romans 8, verse 28. The letter to the Romans 8, 28. 828. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to His purpose, for whom He foreknew, He also predestined to be conformed to the image of His Son, that He might be the firstborn among many brethren. Moreover, whom He predestined, this he also called, whom he called, this he also justified, and whom he justified, these he also glorified. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall we, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Who shall bring a charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is he who condemns? It is Christ who died, and furthermore is also risen, who is even at the right hand of God, who also makes intercision for us. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword, as it is written, For your sake we are killed all day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Yet, in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Three questions very important. If God is with us, who can be against us? Who can accuse us if God is he who justifies us? Who can condemn us if Christ is he who helps us? But at the same time, what will separate us from the love of God? Sorrow, tribulation, distress, persecution, famine. Nakedness, peril, sword. Nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Christ says these things that can remove doubt from us. Paul is convinced, sure, that nor death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other created thing can be able shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Why? Because in all things, we are more than conquerors. Not just conquerors, more than conquerors. More than conquerors through Him who loved us. Jesus Christ. Dear brethren, we have God as a defender. We have a friend a Lord, a Helper, a Mediator, Jesus Christ. And we have power from above, from heaven, the Helper, the Spirit of Truth. So, in all things, we are able to triumph. As it is written, God makes us always triumph through Jesus Christ. Who? We, those who believe in the Gospel of Jesus Christ, which is the power of God that saves each one who believes in it. Amen. Now, with this assurance, and with the acknowledgement of our weakness, and the assurance of the almightiness of Jesus Christ, and the care for us, for our Father in Heaven, and the power of the Holy Spirit, we shall repent. We shall humble ourselves. We shall ask forgiveness from God. We will confess all our sins to Him. 
We will say, Father, forgive me. We are weak, unprofitable, wretched. But we trust the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. So for two or three minutes, each one of us let's pray for ourselves. And may the elders come, please, so we can take part in the preparation and the communion of the body and blood of Jesus Christ. <laughs>